Hi, it's Clinton for NewShooter.com. We're at Sydney Gear 2016. I'm at the PNS booth here with Anna. And um, we come across this really, ex uh, well, this is really cool actually. This was actually shown at uh, NAB, correct? correct. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, Cinescope um, Zoom, which is a 35 to 70. And I'll let you, I'll, I'll say, let Anna talk all about it. Uh, tell us a bit about the lens, the element design. Uh, what's this lens, uh, I suppose, who it's marketed for or targeted for? Okay. Um, what we have here is our new anamorphic zoom lens, 35 to 70. Um, it's a front anamorphic design, that means there's, uh, you can see the anamorphic lenses uh, elements from the front. And um, it was designed for cameras with a 16 by 9 sensor or with a Vista Vision sensor, also a larger sensor. And that's why we choose a 1.5 uh, squeeze, because that's... Um, that gives you a better character, a nicer image, a more anamorphic effect on a 16 by 9 sensor, also on a Vista Vision uh, ratio. Now I see a bit of, um, like I said before, I see a bit of vignetting on this, so vignettes uh, below a certain focal length, but like you said it doesn't uh, uh, over 40 mil, exactly. correct? Exactly, so from 40 to 70 is a full uh, frame, yep. and then we just announced the longer zoom lens, the 70 to 100, that will be throughout the whole range uh, full frame. And that will be announced at IBC? At IBC, we, we announced it uh, yesterday and we will show the prototype lens at IBC and then uh, last quarter this year we aim at uh, delivery. Um, both lenses have an exchange mount system, so the standard um, is a PL mount, but we also offer exchange mount like, like this one. So here we have an E mount. And we have also um, EF mount, uh, Micro Four Third mount, but standard is uh, PL. And the other option to adapt it to different cameras is used by one of our um, mount adapters on the camera side. There's a lot of options there for different cameras. Going back to the, the anamorphic of this lens, it gets you... We aimed at the lens that is like a lens with a little character, so not a vintage lens, and not, uh, not a uh, perfect... I mean perfectly a clean image so we uh, this lens gives you some anamorphic flares but they are controllable so you can have the typical horizontal anamorphic flare but you can also um, avoid it. Um, it, it I mean th there is a fine balance between flaring and also picture quality I noticed that a lot of it, it, when it comes to optic optical design optics or optic design in general the, the more, I guess, I guess the less coating you have, the more flaring you're going to get. Yes. So the more coating you have, then you improve the, the, well, the optical quality, yes, correct? I mean, there's, there's different uh, places to, to, to tweak in a lens yeah. design, I would yeah. say, but definitely a less coating gives you more flare. More flaring, yeah. um, what, what about things like, um, you know, with designs, with elements in there? What about like things like chromatic aberrations, fringing, all those sort of things? Uh, are they fairly good that way? It, this, this lens has a front anamorphic design, so that, that it brings with it several things that come with a front anamorphic design. But yep. uh, here, this is what maybe what you expect from an anamorphic lens, that yes. you get the overall highlights and, and things like that. Okay. Now, when I, when I say chromatic aberrations, I'm talking about like, you know, purple or blue fringing on certain things sometimes. But uh, the, you are saying that it, it's, it's a, quite minimal. A, yes, yep, acceptable. Minimal okay, way. so going back to the mounts, the mounts can be purchased separately. Can you tell me the pricing and availability for this current lens, as well as all the different mount options? Okay, th this current lens is available for 25,000 uh, US dollar, roughly, and the uh, different mount options, uh, the adapters are, um, well, uh, in, in US that's probably around 300 US dollar, and then the, the mount adapters for on the camera side, they start in a range between 400 to 1,000 US dollar, I would say. Okay, now for more information on PNS technique, where can we, where can we go to? Yeah. Go to our website, yeah. which is um, PS Technique with a K in the end, like a German writing.de. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Anne. You're welcome.